Now, throughout boxing history, many fighters have been celebrated for their devastating left hooks. Uh, names like Sugar Ray Robinson, Joe Frazier, Mike Tyson, and Felix Trinidad come to mind. But I always like Donald Curry's left hook the best. Uh, much like Will Clark's famously smooth swing in baseball, a Curry's left hook was the boxing equivalent. Its tight mechanics and flawless execution could easily be featured in a how-to boxing video, you know, showcasing his ability to generate power and control without sacrificing form. Now, this video takes us back to Curry's fourth title defense, a fight he dedicated to his younger sister, Angela, who tragically died in a motorcycle accident just a month earlier at the age of 18. In the opposite corner was Nino LaRocca, a native of Mauritania who became an Italian citizen. Uh, LaRocca entered the ring with a gaudy 58-1 record, his only loss coming from a fight in which he was winning handily, but was stopped because he suffered a gash coming from a headbutt. Uh, dubbed the Italian Ali, LaRocca was known for his flashy ring antics, uh, taunts, fake bolo punches, and even turning his back on opponents to mock them. Uh, though an underdog in this matchup, I recall thinking he posed a threat, especially after his dominant eight-round destruction of the once highly regarded Bobby Joe Young just a year earlier. I have a lot of respect for him. He is a world champion. But do we see today who is the real champion of the world? I think the biggest thing uh, concerns me about LaRock is that uh, the Rocker can match my hand speed, and I've never fought anyone uh, that fast. I am faster on my feet than him. I know that because he is a statue. Your weight goes forward. Larocca is the type of fighter. He's a flashy fighter, and uh, he likes to, he moves on his feet real well. And I think the biggest thing what I have to do is is to cut the ring off and work to his body, from from his body to his head up. You will see in the ring tonight. I will knock him out between the fourth and the tenth round. But there is an inch of reach advantage to Donald Curry. Curry considered at age 23 already a craftsman. LaRocca is a flamboyant personality. Some people call him a runner. Donald Curry has been calling him the Carl Lewis of the welterweights of the world. LaRocca today said I'm going to turn him into a statue, meaning Curry who likes to occupy the center of the ring and work carefully. Curry on his way to becoming, in the minds of many, one of the craftsmen at 147 pounds. The referee is Stanley Christodoulou of Johannesburg, South Africa, now living in Greece. He's a veteran. He's been all over the world. I've seen him work fights in every corner of the world. The judges, Rogelio Perez of Panama and Ovi Ovesen of Denmark. The referee under the WBA rules in this fight will have a vote. If LaRocca stands and fights with Curry, not a lot of folks give him a whole lot of chance. But you don't go 59 and 1 without having some ability. Both men still probing. LaRocca throws up good solid right hand and part of it got the shoulder of Curry, part of it got the side of the head of Curry. We're into the final minute of this first round scheduled for 15 WBA welterweight championship. Good left hook dug to the body by Curry. He's slick. He does things you don't notice unless you really watch. And then all of a sudden it shows up later in the fight. Into the final half minute of this first round, still a time of probing by the two fighters. And we will videotape as the two talk of strategy. And now Chris Tadulu is getting all over both of them about butting each other. Rubbing heads, they got their heads together and literally stood there like a couple of bulls and butted on each other. Curry just missed with that right hand lead. Blistering action, and it is over. 
analysis of what they're going to try to do. I thought uh, LaRocca's uh, comments might have been a bit bold, but then it's before the fight. And one can pretty much say what one chooses. There's the right hand by Curry. I tell you, it's a good one. He gets you flush with it. You know he's been there. Curry out of Fort Worth, Texas. Managed by Dave Gorman. His trainer is Paul Reyes. The cut man is Joe Barrientes. Rocco Battaglia is the trainer. And Rocco Agostino, the cut man for Nino LaRocca. Very, very popular on this part of the country. Curry did his training for the fight in San Remo. Left hook by Curry in that exchange may have been the best. There's a good right hand by LaRocca. And another right hand by LaRocca. He's mixing it up. He is not running in this one. Both men a little wild and missing as we come into the final seconds of the second round. Round two's over. We move now to round number three. Fight so far, very even. Curry goes with a straight left early. Combination by uh, LaRocca, not particularly affected, but the right hand by Curry found the mark on the side of the head. Curry hits on the break, but he's complaining about LaRocca rubbing the uh, laces on his face. And so he popped him one. LaRocca was giving him a lace job along the side of the face, and the Curry whacked him. I wouldn't be surprised by what Chris Tadula is going to be busy in this fight, the referee. The crowd reacting to that flurry by LaRocca, but not much in it. Don't pull your man. Good right hand shot in there by Curry. That was the best punch of that exchange. A short right, right on the button. There's that long left by Donald. LaRocca can fool you. He's, he, his flurries are dramatic. Makes a lot of noise. But I'm not sure that I see a whole lot of scores. Oh, he him rubbed that face again. He's got Curry's face down underneath, and he gave him a little rub job. But so far, Curry has kept his temper pretty well. Now I think referee Chris Tadulu is wise to it. Whoa, left hook by Curry. And the knees buckled a little bit of LaRocca that time. That left hook was the best shot of the fight. Slipped on the edge of the ring. It just slipped. Aprons are very tight here in this ring. There's that sharp left again by Curry. Lila Rocca's wailing away, but not doing anything. And the right hand is picked off by Curry. The Rocca is spending a lot of energy in round three with a half a minute to go. The fight is scheduled for 15. There's a good right hand by LaRocca, but Curry comes right back with the left of the jaw. So that seemed an even exchange. <laughs> Former middleweight champion of the world, and we're now in round number four with this WBA welterweight championship. The champion Donald Curry of Fort Worth, Texas, in the light trunks gold. Nino LaRocca, born in Mauritania, now a naturalized Italian citizen. Wheeling away, but it's Curry doing most of the scoring. Working inside, Curry in his conservative style. 
It's a style that some have called bland. So be it. If it's producing a championship and an unbeaten record. Collide there, slips and falls down. Murray with 13 KOs in his 19 consecutive victories as a professional. Right hand chopped in there by LaRocca that time. Left hand to the side of Curry's head by Nino. Hard right hand by Curry. Flush on the side of the face. Now a cut. Some kind of a cut around the right eye area. And some blood trickling down out of the corner of that right eye. It's a cut in the uh, extreme right end of the eyebrow. Right hand by Curry got home. Now LaRocca getting on his bicycle in the closing seconds of round number four. We go to round five of this WBA welterweight championship. The conservative one, Donald Curry, going at his target, scoring, scoring, almost relentlessly at times. A lot of flurry, a lot of noise from Nino LaRocca, but at this juncture, he's got to be careful the champion doesn't take control of this fight. There's that right hand, and it just missed. LaRocca's right hand went off the shoulder of Donald Curry. Second round, LaRocca landed the most effective punches of the fight so far. Could have won the round. But his shenanigans in the third when he was trying to lace Curry and some of that stuff. But Chris Tadulo, the referee, picked up on it real quick and stopped it. I'd like to alert our local stations that we will take a station break at the end of this fifth round. There's a good right hand by LaRocca. Caught Curry coming in. Stopped him. Now again, the blood seeps out a little bit in the corner of that right eye. That is not the area where he was cut in his only loss in his professional career to Gilles Zibilia. Though he still carries the scar, believe it or not, from that February bout. There's a combination by Curry and a quick left and then a hard left and then a hard right. And LaRocca goes back to the bicycle. We'll be back with more boxing action after this word from our local station. We go now into the sixth round of our WBA welterweight championship fight. Donald Curry, the champion in the gold trunks. Quick left to the face of Nino LaRocca in the dark trunks, and he comes back with a short right hand. He had a bristling combination on the challenger back in the fifth round. Got a football score that some of you might find very interesting, and right now LaRocca looks a little wobbly as he's hanging on to, to Curry, uh, having trouble pulling him away. He looks wobbly. Curry may have him hurt. The blood again is running out of the corner of that right eye area from the eyebrow. Notre Dame beat Colorado today, 55 to 14. And we'll be seeing the Fighting Irish next week against the Tigers of Missouri. And now Nino LaRocca doesn't look like he wants to fight. All he wants to do is hold on. He must be hurt. Curry tries to get him in the corner and pound on him. Krista Dulu can't uh, seem to drag LaRocca away. It took brute strength by the bigger referee to separate him a moment ago. And now there is more blood coming from the right eyebrow area. A hard right hand by Curry. A wicked left hook. Another left hook by Curry. LaRocca's in trouble. There he goes in Curry's corner. From three left hooks and a hard right. He may have trouble surviving this round. 
This is round number six. Then Cristodoro looks at him. LaRocca comes out. Left hook, down goes LaRocca. And the fight is over. Bruce Curry has knocked him out at 127 of the sixth round. So Curry coming out in his usual conservative manner, razor sharp, didn't waste any energy, started reaching it in the third round when he shook LaRocca and uh, then came back in the fourth round and nailed him again with those good right hands. In an odd way, I think LaRocca's limited early round success against Curry uh, foreshadowed Curry's future loss to Lloyd Hunnigan. Uh, Hunnigan threw a similar one-two combination to LaRocca uh, throwing his right cross in a downward trajectory. Curry blocked and ducked under most of LaRocca's one-twos, but wasn't able to do the same for Hunnigan's. Uh, after the fight, LaRocca returned to Italy. He settled for contending for European titles and fighting primarily European competition, eventually retiring in 1990. After Curry defeated LaRocca here, there was talk of him facing Aaron Pryor, who had retired and vacated his title a year earlier, uh, only to make a comeback shortly afterward. Again, I'll leave a link to Curry's documentary piece in the description box below. Uh, thanks for watching.